All right, new detailing product, the Detail Factory uh, tire cleaning brush, uh, which has some significant improvements over my beloved uh, Tough Shine brush that I've been using for a number of years now. And we're gonna show you how I use it here, but first I'm gonna clean up the wheel, uh, and then we'll talk about the why and the how and all of that stuff. But this thing is, uh, this thing is something I think you're gonna want your detailing arsenal. All right, so that's my normal wheel cleaning procedure where I do the, do the barrels, so foam the wheels, do the barrels, do the faces, do the lugs. Uh, and then before I spray off the wheel, what I would normally do is spray with some additional brake buster. This is non-diluted. So I'd hit the tire. Now, I don't wanna strip the tires of their tire dressing completely, but I wanna take off sort of the, the, the soup, the, the, uh, the top layer. So we just want to kind of scrape off any funk that's attached to the tire dressing and then I want to I want to clean it. And so there's a couple of distinct differences between the Tough Shine brush and the new Detail Factory. One, the bristles are a little longer. So you'll notice the bristles are probably a quarter inch longer. Uh, and then at first glance, I thought the bristles were going to be too soft. The bristles on the Tough Shine brush are quite a bit stiffer. Let's try quite a bit more stout. The Detail Factory are longer and softer, uh, and so I thought that might be an issue. The other thing that you'll notice is the brush is a little bit shorter, so it's not quite as long, uh, which I don't think is that, that much of a difference, but the ergonomics are much different. Uh, this is a rounded, uh, sort of hand, uh, I guess, hand-adjusted or, or hand-formed uh, a handle where the the tough shine is just a flat piece of plastic uh, and then this has uh, rubberized edges as well which I think is a huge advantage in that oftentimes I'll hit the surface on 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 the um, uh, hit the surface of the brush on the on the fender at times so here's why I think the longer bristles are better you'll notice it gives me that gap whereas the tough shine brush you know if you because most 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 of our cars are going to be pretty flush that extra quarter or you know half an inch or three eighths of an inch is uh, gives me a little bit more leeway to get the wheels clean. So I'll always just spray the brush down and then I'll attack the tire. And the softer bristles actually give a bit more agitation I find. I also find that I don't have to work as hard, like I don't have to push as hard on the brush to get it to do its job. And I know you're thinking, well, you know, clean a, clean a dirty tire. Well, I spend so much time and energy in the prep to make sure that my tires are prepared so that I don't have to work too hard. And then we'll spray off. That's the process. So that's the Detail Factory tire brush, tire cleaning brush. I think that uh, I think that if you if you have a tough shine brush, I don't know that it's a dire replacement, uh, but it's something that as you need a new one, uh, I would grab one of these. It is quite a bit more costly than the tough shine, uh, but I think it's worth it. The rubberized edge, the longer, softer bristles, the better ergonomics. I mean, this is a this is a you know a, a true I guess detailing tool where the tough shine is more of an uh, applied. Uh, normal brush that you would use in detailing. This is actually, there's a lot of thought put into this, and I think that this is a uh, superior piece of equipment. So, Detail Factory Brush is available in the store. Go to obsessedgarage.com and uh, get you one. All right, another new detailing product. Now, this isn't supposed to be for this application, at least I don't think, uh, but this is a Detail Factory uh, brush, and I don't think it's for applying tire dressing, but I've adapted it to that. I think it's freaking awesome for this. Now, 
I don't think this replaces the need for a traditional applicator brush, uh, but I do think it does uh, aid me in uh, applying dressing. One of the things I hate doing is dressing the tires every time that I have to, uh, every time I you know, clean, the, clean the wheels. It's just it's a tedious process. It, you know, tire dressing tends, pretty much all the tire dressing tends to be kind of streaky and so you want to find that happy medium of enough product but not too much product and when do I wipe it and when do I not. Uh, and so this helps to alleviate a lot of those questions. Now, this doesn't get rid of the normal prep. So my normal prep is to denib the tires, clean them with Sonar's Tarminator, so make sure the tires are cleaned and prepared, especially if they were new uh, or if they're new to you. Uh, and I'll do this periodically every time I detail the car, maybe even a little more often. I'll use some stoners, get the, get sort of strip the surface. Uh, and then my normal maintenance process is to, is to foam the wheels and then I'll spray the tires down with some Brake Buster, which is a hybrid wheel cleaner, tire cleaner. Uh, I never want to strip the surface in my normal routine, so these have just been cleaned with Brake Buster, but they haven't been completely stripped. Uh, so it's, it's ready to accept tire dressing. And so this brush comes into the normal maintenance process because when I'm when I'm doing my initial install I want to really get in and work all the cracks and crevices and and the the inner lip of the tire here with a race place brush but until my next major cleaning next major application or my tire change or a wheel coating uh, I want to I want to just touch it up and just uh, dress the tires and so here's the magic of this brush it uh, it just makes it so much simpler and so I always kind of wipe the brush off because it does have some tire dressing on it still. I'm going to spritz it on the surface like about that much. And I'm coming and I'm just going to apply it to the tire. It takes freaking two seconds and I get super even coverage. It's amazing. It does help if you spend time blowing off the water around because if it does grab water, it grabs a ton of it. And I'll kind of squeeze the brush and hit my inner inner thing here like this I'm trying to avoid the water on the ground I'll, I'll tend to wipe off the excess and then just spread it out nice and evenly this thing is so good yeah it helps if you move the car where where it's dry but then I'll just take my towel and I'm surprised that I thought it would really hit the face of the wheel a lot more than it does. And so that's, that's the process. Let me show you another wheel. Do this one here. Another thing you can do is you can sacrifice your, uh, your towel like this. This will help. These, these towels only get used on the wheels. So I always take the brush, just kind of wipe off the excess, spritz a little product on there, like so, come around. I love it for this. It literally takes me a tenth the amount of time it would to do with the race glaze brush. The only byproduct is that I will get it on the surrounding surfaces a little bit more than normal, but I just wipe it off. My wheels are usually still a little wet anyway. And so what I'll usually do is I'll leave that tire dressing on there and then I'll uh, I'll wipe off, just wipe it really gently. So this doesn't put as much product on as when I do with a race clay, so I don't have to wipe the, the tire as much. I could just leave it like that if I like it a little shinier. But what I'll do before I drive the car home, which I'm gonna drive it home tonight, I'll, um, I'll just do a quick little surface wipe and the tires will be good to go. Uh, it's a, uh, I haven't used it on truck tires yet, but I think it's gonna work really well. You know, I tend to glop all that stuff on the ridges of the tire, and so I think this will, will really, really do well. So I think you want one of these things in your arsenal, it's freaking sweet.